Once we understand that username and passwords are used to authenticate, we also need to understand the concept of a token. Now, really, there are two types of tokens. The first is a software token. The software token is created by the system once it authenticates a user and is presented to them or to the system in which they're logged in at. This token is then used after its creation at the authentication event for the duration of the entire login session. What's the purpose of a token? When a user requests a resource, the user process presents that token to verify their identity. Once their identity is assured, that identity is compared to the access control list stored at the resource and used to determine if the user first indeed has access and number two, what type of access they have to that resource. A different type of token is a hardware token. Typically, hardware tokens are used with a pin, a small or short number, to verify the user's identity. This can be a smart card, which is actually inserted in type of reader, or it can be a kind where my token has a clock, which is synchronized to a clock stored at the server. When I attempt to log on, I have to enter the exact time, plus or minus 10 seconds, that I see in my token. This guarantees that the server can assure itself that I am in physical possession of that token.